Sadgy, 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 sadgy. What are you guys up to? What are you guys up to this week? All right. Hello, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle Santigate, and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Uh, this is where I read tarot and oracle cards and give guidance for self-help, growth, love, abundance, career, you name it. Um, please do click subscribe. So, um, and then also ring that bell below because that's the only time you'll know when I go live. And I try to go live uh, at least four times a week. Um, sometimes I can't always attain that goal, but honestly, the lives are my favorite. And ringing that bell is the only time you'll know when I go live. So please do... Um, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so that you can join in those conversations. I'll always love to hear your voices. You will see below, there's also a Vimeo link for an extended reading from this video. That will be an extended, um, I'm sorry, a deeper dive using tarot from the, from the reading that we get right now, as well as a romance read. That's on the other side. But for right now, we're doing the general week ahead reading for August 25th through August 30th. There is a super new moon, Sagittarians. A super new moon on the 30th of this month. It's the second new moon of August. We had one right in the beginning of the month. So we started off this month with... The opportunity to welcome in abundance and now it's like we're being given another chance for even more abundance to come through Sagittarius this is a Virgo new moon Virgos like precision they like people to arrive early or on time in my hemisphere I believe this full the apex of the moon the the darkest period when it's fully dark um, of this new moon will be about, I think, like 3.30 a.m., I think. So look up the time of the new moon in your area, of when it will actually be completely new, and be as close to that time with your manifestations as possible, in honor of the Virgo mentality, of wanting things to be precise and paying attention to the details. It is a great time to welcome in abundance and manifest your dreams come true. This is the moment. Take some time for it. Just a suggestion. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what is in the cards for you in the week ahead. So that you know, these are oracle cards that I use. I do not use tarot in the general reading. I use tarot in the extended reading to extrapolate on and get a deeper understanding of the reading of the oracle cards. It is not a primarily tarot reading. Um, also, yeah, yeah, it's mostly oracle cards, FYI, just so that you guys know. All right, Sag, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got this week. Let's see what's coming out for you. Hmm. I think you've been really focused on yourself. I think you've been really focused on your life. I think you've been really confident. You've made some decisions. You're not letting other people's bullshit get in your way. Co-create with spirit. You're very focused on manifesting. Love is all around. Ooh, somebody could be somebody could be falling in love. Somebody could be getting married. Some this could just be about the general energy of abundance of people really loving and respecting you or just abundant, like you're swimming in abundance this week. Turn knowledge into wisdom. I think you heard something. I think you got word of some real good news this week. I think a message could have come from spirit. It could have been a realization. It could have been an aha moment. Or it could have actually just been announced. Like you could have gotten a phone call with some good news in it. And the truth is, I think this is something that you've been waiting for, having your eye on for quite some time, and you were waiting for some forward movement, and this week is the week of that forward movement. This week is the week that you get the word, that, like that is music to your ears. You get to hear something that is music to your ears, and it has a lot to do with, um, oh, wow.
It has a lot to do with something that you've seen way, way in the future. So this has to do with your future. This has to do with something that you have your sights set on. Maybe it's a marriage. Maybe it's a mortgage. Maybe it's an investment. But this has to do with something that you are literally investing in the future in. Mm. You've gotten some good news. You've gotten some good word. You've gotten some good advice. You've had your mind. You like you have literally had your eyes like dead focused on this for quite some time and I feel like spirit has got your back but you also just get like almost subliminal messages it could be dreams it could be prayers it could just be like you it's almost like insider trading <laughs> I mean not literally but you get you get word you get insight that isn't for everybody's ears this week but it's music to your ears Okay, now this makes me think even more that it could be about somebody that you were waiting for, something that really had to do with like you were holding on very, very tightly. So this is an interesting card to come out after all of this. This is about somebody from your past. This is about somebody that you've had your sights on. This is about something that you have wanted for a very, very long time and were not able to get or had broken up with or had been denied okay now at least we know that Sagittarius It's almost like this person ate your heart out. If that makes any sense. So this is something that really caused you a great deal of upset. Let spirit be your guide and be generous of spirit. Wow. Okay. So you are, this is a very fortuitous week of, from you because you are literally getting the highest form of insider trading, which is messages from spirit, which is consciousness, which is illumination onto a situation that literally left you in the dark and left you feeling like you had nothing. Literally dug the ground out from underneath you and left you for broke. You are getting a good message that's coming in. Maybe you're, I don't think it's, you're going to hear from a person. I think it's going to hear, you're going to hear about a person and it's going to make you very happy and it's going to restore your confidence. It's going to make you sort of patch yourself up and make you realize that what you experienced with them, you're glad it's over. You're glad it's done. It's message and word that will make you feel good about yourself again. It'll make you feel like a renewed, yeah. A renewed sense of who you are because when this person pulled the rug out from underneath you or they dug the ground out underneath you and your world collapsed Sagittarius when this happened you took a big hit you took a big hit in terms of resources in terms of reputation you took a big hit and you're gonna be very very happy to know and it kind of like hit your heart in a way that things don't usually hit your heart which it made you question your own self-worth and you're getting a message this weekend. You're, it's being revealed and now you can finally understand this, this week, over this next week, um, that, it, that no, it's gonna make you, whatever message is coming in, it's going to make you feel better about yourself. It's gonna help you restore that sense of pride and, and, and confidence, and you'll be able to look, keep looking in the future. There's a lot of looking in the future. So for me, I feel like a, this was a person or a project or, uh, uh, an opportunity that you really thought you had a future in, that you really thought you had a future with, that was looking very, very good to you, almost enticing. It's almost like you had them in your sights to eat them alive. And then they pulled the rug out from underneath you and they got away. And left you really like lying in a, like being embarrassed, to be honest with you. Just being embarrassed, not looking good, not feeling good. And really it taking a toll on especially your ego. But this is the week you pull yourself out of that. And I think it's because you hear something or you get an insight. You, suddenly something clicks. 
that you realize why things happened the way that they did. And because you're given this information, you are allowed to and now enabled with the ability to let go of the hurt and the pain and the embarrassment. This is like music to your ears this week. This is going to put you back on the track of, of, of like loving your life. Yes. Seriously, but this is a this is a spiritual message, Sagittarius. This is not necessarily like if you see something online, it's going to be like symbolic to let it's all it's it's spirit is speaking with you. So look for symbols this week. Look for messages in the air, the way that the birds fly. Look for yeah, definitely look for messages in the air. Like there's a lot of bird power here. There's a lot of air power. So this is like having an aerial view over the situation. This is spirit's point of view. So this is not like a DM or a handwritten message. This is a sign and symbol message. Keep looking for it. And I just heard the, I just heard a siren outside. Sagittarius, listen, listen for signs like that. Like alarms going off when a thought pops into your head. Find a penny, pick it up. Like signs and symbols, like different numbers or, you know, butterflies flying, birds flying in the sky, suddenly birds retreating from when you're, and when you see these signs, pay attention, pay attention very, very carefully because when you start to see these signs, pay attention to the thoughts that you're thinking. Because it's spirit telling you you're onto something. It's spirit telling you that, it, confirming that what you're thinking has significance. And you need to maybe investigate it more. Dig into it a little bit deeper. Go ahead. But spirit is going to guide you on the messages this week. It's going to be a spirit message. So don't expect it to be like you know, uh, a, a voicemail from a long lost lover. It's not like that. It's a spirit message. Oh, the tangled web we weave. Make your dreams real. Oh, uh, this is like, hmm. I think you're really going to be able to avoid a trap this week. I think that's what it is. I think somebody is setting up a net for you. Somebody is setting up a trap for you. Somebody is setting up, yeah, just like a like a, a booby trap, a pitfall. Like somebody is is literally trying to catch you. And the message that comes in is going to help you avoid that trap. Mm. Learn from the past. Oh my God. You're going to be able to dodge this bullet because uh like so in other words, the signs and symbols are going to come in, 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 in forms that you'll recognize in things that are already significant to you. You're not going to have to read about it. You're not going to have to look into it. You're not going to have to, it'll be meant for you. So it'll be, you'll be receiving it in signs and symbols that mean something to you that you already have a relationship with. You already have decided what they, because spirit is literally talking directly to you this week, Sagittarius. They are literally sending you signs that matter to you, that already have a meaning because they want to communicate this to you. It is like watch out because somebody is trying to set a trap for you. Somebody is trying to catch you. Could be the IRS man, could be an ex. Somebody is trying to set a trap for you and in order to help you avoid it, or you're going to help see how the trap that was set for you that actually brought about some sort of downfall or ruin or embarrassment or heartache, you're going to finally, it's going to be unwoven. You're going to see how it was spun because I think either somebody or some situation similar to what happened to you before, it's trying to reemerge, reemerge. It's trying to, it's trying to, um, like somebody else is trying to ensnare you. Like history is trying to repeat itself, but Spirit is going to step in and save you so that it doesn't repeat itself. If you watch the signs and symbols, you'll be able to avoid stepping into another trap. Wisdom. Wisdom. Not falling into the same pattern again. Not making the same mistake twice. Like you know better this time. And you're going to stand firm. Yeah. 
yeah. This is a really, this is a real, this is a will you or won't you day. This is a will you or won't you week. This is a, you could fall for the pitfall again. You could be stuck back into a situation that really makes you uncomfortable if you don't listen to the signs of spirit. If you are co-creating with spirit and you have an open mind and an open heart, you can avoid this completely. But right now it's kind of ambiguous, will you, won't you? This and that are true. Either one could happen. It could work that they could catch you. Yeah, definitely this week is, it's, in other words, the messages are not, it's just reiterating that the messages are not straightforward. Whatever those messages that mean something to you, that's what you have to look for, those signs and symbols this week. And any kind of synchronicities that are popping off because they matter. They matter a lot this week. You're going to escape it. I'm telling you right now, you're going to escape it. If when you watch for the signs and symbols and you use what you've learned from the past, you're going to escape the net. You're going to get out of it. You're going to leap away and jump away from it. You're not going to fall into a trap. It is literally going to be exactly what you need. Let's see. Oh my, oh my. So yeah, you're breaking free. You're breaking free. In a turn of events that nobody thought was possible, you are going to avoid this trap. Literally, nobody thought that this was possible. Nobody, not that nobody saw it coming, but I don't think anybody thought that you were possible of maybe being this strong, of maybe being this wise, of making this decision. Like nobody thought it was possible, but you pulled it off. You did it. Because you used Spirit's advice. Because you took Spirit's warning. That's what your freedom hinges on this week. Freedom is yours if you use your mind, mind wisely. Life is a mystery. Life is a mystery means it is not obvious information. It's just a reiteration that this is something that you're going to have to see with a shaman's eyes. This is something you're not going to be able to look at logically because it's not going to make any sense. We're missing one card. Yeah, somebody's true colors are revealed. They pretended to be something that they weren't. Somebody who has pretended to be a friend, somebody who has pretended to offer you something, an opportunity that seemed like it was too good to be true, it was. And those colors are going to be revealed this week. Those, that, that deception is what's going to be revealed. And the truth is they were trying to ensnare you. And maybe, maybe Sagittarius, this is about some, this is about some black magic. This is about you being able to avoid somebody trying to cast against you. It's like you stopped it. You stopped it in its tracks. Somebody protected you, spirit protected you, and caught it before it was able to do you harm. And it's because you listened to spirit. But you have to listen to spirit this week. Because I honestly do feel like somebody is trying to ensnare you, trap you, or 1919, you're talking about counterparts. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about synchronicities, uh, Sagittarius. This is 100%. This is literally somebody trying to work some black magic on you and it's not going to work because you listen to spirit and somebody is protecting you at the same time same time they're protecting you and warning you so that you don't fall into the trap somebody's setting this is similar to something that happened before somebody literally trying to pull the ground out from underneath you you're going to learn from that past situation 
You're going to know exactly who this person is that's trying to get one over on you. And it's not going to work. You're going to catch that spell before it gets anywhere near you. Wow. Oh, wow. Too many cards. Too many cards. Yeah. Set your healthy boundaries and you'll be great this week. Seriously. But watch your words, Sagittarius. Watch the words that you say. Watch the, watch the words that you hear. Watch watch for messages coming in seriously watch how people talk this week this is a week this is virgo season mercury is in full bloom this is about great communication so listen to the way people communicate it'll be in their words it'll be in their voice these messages are going to come out loud and clear but you're going to hear this insincerity in their voice or they're trying to use their voice like i said to cast a spell on you and ensnare you Either by using lies or actual spells to get you hooked and to trap you. Could be just lying about how good a job is going to be. Oh, yeah, we're going to pay you this much when they really don't intend to. Oh, yeah, of course, you always get out at 5. Really, you're going to be stuck there till 7 p.m. every single night because they're overburdened. Like, they're talking... Listen to what people promise you this week. Listen to how people say things. Or this is literally spells being cast to try to ensnare you. Either way, people are using their voice to try to ensnare you. But spirit is going to come through like music to your ears and reveal that darkness. Reveal the web. It's almost like you couldn't see the web. It was invisible. And spirit is going to come and like blow its breath on it and make it shake so that you see that it's there. They're going to save your life, Sagittarius. Take that warning and run because it's literally liber liberating for you from a situation that was going to cause you embarrassment again or get you stuck, make you like force you to live in like an in-between that you're not happy with. So watch the promises that people make to you this week. Listen, really listen. And if, in any, if any part of you cries bullshit, if any part of you feels like people are bullshitting you, believe it. And believe all the messages from spirit coming in because the messages from spirit are going to be symbolic. The messages from spirit are going to use signs and symbols that are already important to you to communicate with you. Somebody, so you're literally, you're going to see the truth today. You're going to, it's going to be exposed this week. Because you look through the eyes of faith, not pragmatism. Seriously. Seriously. Let's delve a little bit deeper into this over on Vimeo. If you're interested, follow me over there. I'll delve a little deeper into the situation, uncovering what's going on here using tarot, and then I will do a full-on romance read. If this is where we part ways, I want to say thank you for showing up. Thank you for always turning out, Sagittarius. Thank you for all your support and, and, and comments and participation. Um, and I will see you guys either on a live later on today or next week. Talk to you guys soon.